Oh my gosh. Shoot. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to take some pictures on Instagram, so hopefully you'll be able to see the makeup better. I'm sure you will. You guys got to bear with me. I'm recording on a laptop right now because that's what I have. So, yeah. That's good for now. If I need more, I can add some more. Bam! Looking fresh, man. Um, and then for lipstick, I'm gonna try this one, but I might just go back to like my everyday lip that I always do, which is. Mm, yeah, I think it's gonna be that. Which is. It's not here because I need to, um. I need to get it from my purse. I really don't want to though. Maybe I can use this. This is my absolute favorite lip liner, and I have no idea what color it is, but it's, I know the brand is Shu Emora. I hope I'm saying that right. But this is the best. Oh my god. I can wear this lip liner alone with um, chapstick, and it looks gorgeous. A nice nude nude lip liner. Oh my god, it's freaking amazing. You can outline your lip a little bit. Like overdraw. Mm. Looking fresh. I love this. Chola. I love it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fill in my lips a little bit with it. Get a little. Ombre. I heard Martha Stewart. I saw Martha Stewart wearing army pants and flip flops. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I heard her say ombre, ombre, or ombre, something like that. And so now I say it like that. Okay, Martha Stewart is the BC. <laughs> So we're brushing the eyebrows up. Give a little dimension, a little bit of ooh. Uh, and then I'm gonna put oh no, what's spilled in here? Something's open? I do need that though. I think it's oh I totally opened it. Joyco Blondie Brilliant Brightening Oil. Instant shine and softness. Oops, I do need some of that in my hair right now, though. So I'm going to put that through the ends. Ooh, it smells good. I like it. Okay, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, it's going to be spilled everywhere. Ooh, I know where it's going to on that side. Okay. Here we go. Sling real quick. Be able to show the boulder holder. Ooh, that's hard to say. Okay, now I'm using Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I had one that was so old and gross and crusty, but it worked so good, and I feel like this one doesn't work as well. And I'm a little bit upset about it. This shit is like 20 bucks. So. Do you have any recommendations? If you have any recommendations for a brow gel that makes your eyebrows stand up for long periods of time, let me know. Do an extra pass through. 
no. I don't say that. Okay. Oh, I didn't even do highlighter. How exciting. There's another step. I love makeup. Okay. Uh, we're going to do highlight, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild, guys. They're like my best friend. This stuff, it doesn't last very long on the skin, especially if you're sweating and stuff like that. But if you're going to have, if you're going to um, be somewhere where the climate is nice, there's air conditioning, wear this because this is gorgeous. It looks wet, glossy. It's not, um, it can look powdery. So um, if you feel like it looks powdery, spritz a little something on your brush and then do it, and it looks beautiful. I'm going to do underneath my brow too, but I'm going to wait for my brow gel to set, and then I just kind of ruin my lip line, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, just a oil everywhere. So I ruined my lip line, so I'm going to get the brow gel. A little itty bitty one, it's hard to find. This one. Okay. I'm going to redo the top. I like highlight there, but sometimes it makes my lip disappear, and I'm not about that life. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I'm all done. And I'm going to put something on my lip, but. I don't have it right now. It's going to be MAC Velvet Teddy. That's my favorite lipstick for every day. And yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys. I want to do a little bit more on my lip. Where's my lip line? I want to do a tiny bit more on the side of my lip right here. A little bit of overdrawing. Um, <clears throat> but then I'm going to tell you about the three products that I have to show you. So. I feel like this side always looks a little bit smaller. Okay. Um, I have three products to show you. And really it's just um, two because it's toothpaste. And then this is the new cleanser that I got. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll tell you about the toothpaste first. This is the toothpaste that my daughter uses. And it's the Hello Fluoride-Free Kids Toothpaste. And it's uh, natural watermelon flavor. It's really cool. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> I feel like it works. I feel like it gets, like, the yucky stuff off of her teeth. Um, she likes it because it tastes really good. She likes mint, too, but I like this one the most for her because it doesn't have any uh, fluoride, and I heard that fluoride blocks your third eye. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's my thing with that. And then my friend Cody just gave me this one, and this is the Hello Fluoride-Free Whitening Toothpaste, and it's activated charcoal, and it tastes like fresh mint. And it has coconut oil, and I really like it. This is amazing. My daughter's been using this since she was able to brush her teeth. So super young. She's three now. Um, and I still really like it. It lasts a long time because they're only using such, like, tiny amounts. Um, so it lasts forever. And for me, I'm really excited about this one because it's kind of like the adult version. And it's good for you. It's got some good ingredients. I really like all the ingredients. There's a couple course, but it's always going to be that way. Um, okay, so this is my new cleanser. Oh, the packaging on this, you guys, is so beautiful. It's glass packaging. Um, it has like a mint stripe. It's so beautiful. This is the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. Strengthen and Protect. Um, I got it because I actually ordered the toner, the Indie Lee toner, and I think it goes with this, um, like with this line from them. Uh, so... Yeah, I got the toner. I'm waiting on it to come in, but today I went to Sephora, and I'm like, I need a freaking, like, I needed a cleanser really bad, and I just couldn't find one that was, like, drying. It was just, I don't know. I just really needed a cleanser. Anyway, um, and I saw this one at Sephora. I'm like, no way. I went in for the Youth for the People, but there's an ingredient in, like, skincare that I don't like in my products. It's called, I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> but to me, it looks like panthenexanol. Or something like that, Panthenex and all. I don't know. It's something like that. If I can, I'll write it right here, and then you guys can look it up or whatever. But I just feel like everything I've tried with that ingredient in it, it makes my face feel like slicky and just not clean. It, it's like a almost like a synthetic, um, synthetic hydrated feeling. So um, 
yeah, I don't know. I like to see it. I like to see it in my skin hydration. Like I can tell I would rather not. Yeah. Like if I'm looking in a, a magnified mirror like this, I want to see my skin look hydrated and look smooth and look, you know, <laughs> the way it does right now, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I want it to look nice and smooth and, um, I don't necessarily need that like feeling of that. So, uh, Panthenex and all the Indie Lee products don't have that ingredient, so I really like it. And I'm just so excited. This packaging is gorgeous. It's so beautiful, and I'm so excited for the toner. So I'll keep you updated on the toner because I haven't tried it yet. I haven't got here. I think it's getting here Tuesday. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that toner and then also on the cleanser because I only used it once earlier today when I took a shower. But, I mean, the packaging alone, I'm like, this is so cute. I really like it. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, getting ready with me. I can't wait to go to the fair and eat a corn dog. I want a corn dog really bad. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned something or you just, you know, you were having a, a little bit of tea or a beer and relaxing and hanging out with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!